Kristen by Outre is a synthetic wig that is 22 inches long with a yaki texture. Um, it does come in a few of the basic colors like 1, 1B, and 2, but something unique about this wig is that it also comes in some pretty cool color blends like the one that I have, Apricot Plum, um, Cocoa Cream, Chocolate Swirl, Copper Orange, California Blonde, all of these having a dark root. Um, and then they have the ones without the dark root, which is, would be Natural Honey and Red Velvet, which you can check out on Ultra's website to see more information on. It offers soft HD transparent lace, a five inch deep parting space, and it is completely pre plucked and also has sirens. There is a wide elastic band for the fit, baby hairs, and it's just designed for um, a comfort fit around your ears. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chrissy, and today I'll be doing a video on this wig by Ultra. It's the name is Kristen, and it's in the shade um, Apricot Plum. It's very beautiful. It has this wonderful like. I want to say like almost like a red velvet uh like cheesecake kind of tone going on here very beautiful and dark roots and if you guys follow me on tiktok you know i'm not a huge fan of dark roots but i feel like this can really work out because it's not too much i'm gonna go ahead and throw it on i think it's so interesting that otre like kind of randomly came up with this color it's like I mean, it's a beautiful color but for otre i feel like it's kind of out there especially when they don't have any other colors like sometimes they'll release uh wigs in their color bomb uh, line that have really nice colors on them but this one was just like a random color for this one for this week and yeah they have some interesting colors definitely check out the website in the link i got this from tiktok shop so definitely check it out on tiktok shop i think it was shipped by sam's beauty but definitely check out the link i was so tempted to get the cocoa cream one because that one is almost like a um it gives like a, a 90s vibes but i maybe let's see if i like this one i'll definitely get into that and they say it's like glueless this is the lace it does have a middle part but it actually has a good amount of parking space in the front here on the sides i would say that's about that's about an inch where you can part it um where you know there's hair you can kind of do like a little flip over if you feel like it one day and it does have the band the band is not adjustable the band does not have anything to make it adjustable, which I think is pretty interesting, but I mean, I'm sure it, I mean, it will work or you can, I don't even know what you, how you could do that to make it work because you can't cut it. And then it has, of course, these and three combs, a long one in the back and then two on the sides. So this is how it looks straight out of the pack and on my head. I'm just looking at my mirror if you don't see me looking at the camera. And I love it. It is so pretty. Ooh, it's so pretty. This is how it looks in the picture. Um, I'm not really seeing those sort of like defined layers. Like you see how it kind of has that those fringe layers coming out. Um, it definitely has layers, but I don't see them coming out like that yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace close up on my skin. But I will put a picture up video, of course. That's just the wig cap showing through. It moves from ear. Oh, that's actually perfect for me. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that's it. That's actually that's not too bad. I would still have to cut a little bit. That is really cute actually. I was saying if you wanted to kind of part it, do like a little flip over kind of thing going on, that could work if that's what you want to do. But I think I'm going to leave it in the middle part. And yeah, I'm going to cut the lace and I'll be right back. Cut the lace with my zigzag scissors and this is how it looks like. That looks really nice. And the lace is so soft and um, thin, but it's still manufactured in a really nice way. Like that hairline. That is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on and just kind of personalize it to my liking. And if you guys watch my TikTok, then you know how this goes. This is not a surprise. Oh! <laughs> oh gosh! Okay, so just for the video, I'm gonna go ahead and take this cap off because it's kind of messing me up with the um, line and stuff. Okay, so the cap is gone and yeah, I feel a lot better about that. I didn't like seeing that line. Um, the band works for me. I don't have to use the combs. I'm not going to use glue around here, but I am going to use it for the um, side burns. It's using like a little bit of glue just to tack it down on the side here. Funny enough, I like haven't seen anyone with this color. 
at least um like not on youtube i think there was one other girl on uh, tiktok with uh she she put bangs and i was like that's so pretty such a pretty color so i wanted to see what it would look like without the bangs of course you can add you know baby hairs and stuff like that but if you guys know me you know i'm not a huge like baby hair fan i just put it on and go now i'm gonna move on to the next part um let's go ahead and brush this baby out oh this is so nice look at the red oh this is nice now i'm really starting to see if i come back a little bit those layers in that picture oh this is pretty now you guys know how i go i like to shake wigs around my face and so i do love what i got going on here but i do need to add like just just a few more just around here i really just want to get that nice effect so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually just take my scissors and take a little bit and go from like a little bit above the um tail of my eye and just gently go down and add some layers take another section and just very gently and yes these are fabric cutting scissors but i find when it comes to like situations like this it does give me what i needed to give i'm just gonna go back in just a little I need just a little bit more definition in these layers. There we go. Oh, you see how it's coming along? Yeah. There we go. So that's kind of that's. Yeah, that's like what I'm going for. So this is the before and this is the after. The before is wonderful. You don't even need to do all this, but you guys know how I go, man. I can't leave a wig untouched. You want to pull hard so that when you do this, you get a clean line or like even, even lines, if that makes sense. What I'm doing is just pushing back what I all, what I've already cut and then adding some more here by my jawline. And you see how when you cut it, you get a little bit more volume. When you cut a little bit shorter part right here by like the height of your cheekbones, you do get some more volume up here. It's easier to push that hair up a little bit if that's what you're going for. Girl! This color is everything. Oh, let's really get into it. Hold on a minute. Hair just went into my eye. Oh, let's really get into it. It. Ooh. Let's get into it. So before going outside, if I don't use like a little bit of hairspray to kind of push forward, um, some of these little like loose hairs, I definitely just use the residue from the glue and just kind of push them down so that it blends that um, line a little bit. If I'm going outside and you know it's gonna be windy, we don't wanna show everybody that it's a wig. But I mean, what's gonna happen if we do though? Are they gonna fight you? Are they gonna fight you? They're gonna fight you? I don't think so, so we're not worried about that. Oh, this wig is a gem, you guys. Oh, you have to, oh, now I kinda need her in the chocolate cream. What was it? This color, the cocoa cream. Yeah, now I kind of need her in that color. I kind of need it, or I might do something drastic. I'll take the, the bit. <laughs> Stupid. Final thoughts on this wig. Let's go through the pros. It is super soft. The hair is super soft, dude. I don't think you'll get any tangling from this for a while, even though it's colored. And if you're into synthetic wigs, then you know. But when they're colored, synthetic units always tangle fast. You know how that goes. But with this one, I don't think it's gonna happen. It is so beautiful, so soft. I just like added a few little layers. I didn't get any tangling. And it's moving as I move. Like, this is really behaving like human hair. I'm, I'm shocked. Um, Audrey, for, I don't know how they do it. Like them and Sensational, they always find a way to step it up. And I just, it's amazing. I appreciate them for doing this for us. Like creating affordable wigs. Cause I think this was like, after a discount, maybe, maybe $30 max. I'm not sure. Maybe like a lot less, but 
that amount of money for a wig that's gonna last you a while and i can only imagine how long the one and the one b and two or four colors will last and i can only imagine how much longer they will last you um for that price is wonderful it's pre-layered pre-everything um except for pre <laughs> the lace is not pre-cut the lace is super soft and the hairline is really nice you don't have to do much to it of course if you're like a baby hair person you can do that if not you don't have to and then you can always add bangs oh the bangs would actually eat but you can also just cut in some layers that work for your face like i did um that's the middle part if you want to add some uh what do you call it a uh, foundation or concealer to it you can but i think honestly like if you just want a calm part that is not it doesn't really stand out that much then you can do that as well my head is pretty i think it's a 26 and a half circumference or or 26 it's a little bit above the t like average it's like 25 i think is average or whatever but it does work for me um i would have to go back in and cut the lace that i tucked behind my ear but you can create some uh sideburns which i think are really nice it's, it's nice to have that i mean you don't have to but it's nice to have and yeah to kind of get rid of the extra lace or extra hair that you might have dripping down um and then of course trim it like i did and yeah the hair the lace behind my ear i would definitely cut if i were to keep this for myself um but yeah i might add it to my wig closet if you want to take a look dark root is not as overwhelming as i it, as dark roots usually are that's why i don't really go for them i think it's gorgeous the color mix gorgeous 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 if i could give it and i just love how that dark red comes back at the bottom and creates um like what do you call it dimension so it really just emphasizes the whoever's wearing it emphasizes their like skin tone with this lighter color in the middle if you don't get it for valentine's day i think it is a wonderful spring wig as well and even summer honestly it's super pretty um but yeah in, the, in this shade but it's lightweight um i feel like it's good if you if you live in a hotter place as well it's good to have cons um the band it doesn't really make any sense to me to not make it adjustable to not have that little like thing that plastic piece that you can move to make it smaller to make it bigger it doesn't really make sense to me to have that or to have it where it um unhooks so then at least you can adjust it that way and then reattach the hook it doesn't really make any sense to me to have that it's just gonna be one stretchy piece i've seen it before with wigs though and it works for me but i think in 2024 i just don't think we really need that it doesn't make any sense or what if somebody needs it to be smaller you know they can't adjust it that doesn't really make any sense to me it's not like a huge deal breaker like still get the wig and if you need to you can always cut it and then re-sew it you would have to have you would have to know how to sew it or just cut it completely and use the combs if you want to i don't use combs anymore so i think it's really helpful i don't i don't use combs if i really don't have to because they do irritate my scalp and that's another thing too like i think in 2024 we have to continue to find ways to have wigs without the combs uh, i'm trying to think if there's anything else but i don't think so um it's affordable like it's not expensive um super soft the layers i do wish that they looked a little bit more a little bit more uh what do you call it fringe they looked a little bit more separated like they do in the picture that's not really how i saw it i saw it but it wasn't as prevalent as i thought it was going to be but once again it is not a deal breaker i think it's still a beautiful wig and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will enjoy the videos to come if you like wigs synthetic wigs styling wigs and everything um wig or beauty related don't forget to subscribe and share this video uh, across the platforms and yeah if you're coming over from tiktok thank you so much for coming thank you so much for supporting me in 2024 as well and i hope you enjoy this video and enjoy my content and actually like um hopefully these longer videos really explain what i do to these wigs because sometimes on tiktok i have to make them super fast super short and a lot of people don't really understand what i did with the wigs so i'm hoping that this new format will help um people more but thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe once again and share this video and you can i guess you can subscribe for notifications i'm not sure if i'm at that level yet but let's see <laughs> And I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and a wonderful spring. And yeah, thank you. Bye. Look at her. Oh, me? Oh. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll sing it. Yeah. Two. Oh. Thank you. Bye. Okay, alright, you gotta calm down on that.